Hey guys, it's Drake. And Wapple. Get ready for another great adventure. This is part two of a video. I couldn't put all of it into one video, so please check below for the first one in the series. Thanks. This time, Belize. Believe me when I tell you, you will really like this one. Check it out. Hola, let's go. Belize is a country that's located directly below Mexico. So if you know where Cancun is uh, and the Mayan Riviera, go down and Belize would be right there. Um, it's a small country, uh, about 8,867 square miles. It has hundreds of ruins and ceremonial centers that show and prove that the Mayans were inhabiting the area from about 2,500 years uh, BC all the way up to 1000 AD. When you get to Belize, it's a tinder port. So the ships have to stay out uh, farther away and you take smaller boats called tinders into port. And I've heard everything from there's nothing to see in Belize, don't do anything in Belize, Belize is crazy amount of crime, don't leave the area, uh, to there are only a little bit of things to see, uh, there are only a little bit of things to do, uh, or uh, going my way, which is, wow, there's a whole lot to do if you really look. I'm gonna start off, ooh, crazy bird. I'm starting off, really? Like I'm in the jungle of Belize. <laughs> I'm starting off with Belize City and things to see in Belize City. Now, again, I've heard from people who've taken cruises of, well, the only thing really to see in Belize City is a port. Don't don't do anything else. Oh, well, can't leave there, right? Now, I will say that Belize is not as wealthy of a country as other countries okay people don't have the money to fix up houses the way that other countries do yes yeah, some areas are a little bit nicer than others so keep that in mind hey it is what it is so the port city of belize there's a bridge called the swing bridge now, to me, it looks like a normal bridge that you pass over, um, but it is one of those things as far as for a site of Belize. The bridge swings open so that boats can go through as far as for the channel. There's the Museum of Belize. Now, this museum used to be the Belize Prison. Now, they changed it into a museum, have a lot of interesting artifacts, things to see, a lot of Belize culture, history. They've also kept some of the cell doors in there to keep the historical uh, part of aspect of the building. Now then, there's St. John's Cathedral. Now this cathedral was built using as far as for the architecture of the time, uh, interior as well, an interior shot. Uh, something to see a lot of the buildings in Belize with bricks were the bricks were used as ballast for ships coming over from the United Kingdom Belize was a territory of the United Kingdom basically England for a long time and England would load up ships Ballast. Ballast is what keeps the ships from overturning a heavy weight at the bottom. They used to use ballast rocks. They would load up the ships 
with bricks. And they would, when the ships arrived at Belize, unload those bricks to the ballast, replace them with rocks, uh, and then use those bricks for building material. And that's how some of these buildings in Belize City were built with bricks. There is the Holy Redeemer Cathedral. Again, a very nice house of worship, something to see in Belize City. There is the Baron Bliss Lighthouse, one of the famous features of Belize City, right on the point so that boats in the harbor know that there is a jetty right there. A very popular thing to go and see, and a monument at the base of it. There is a Traveler's Liquor Heritage Center. For all of these parts of, of the Americas, rum was a very, very big deal, especially for England as well. This Heritage Center has the casks and the rums and the Belizean rum for you to try and Belizeans really, really love their rums. Yummy. There is also, if you're into rum, let's throw some beer into this too. There's Belican beer and there's the Belican factory that's out by the airport that you can go and tour and see of the brewery. They also have gift shops, that kind of stuff, as far as for beer. There is the Government House, the Supreme Court, and also the Central Bank. That's all expensive. Belize City used to be the capital of Belize, and that's why these buildings are located there. You don't say. There are also Belize cemeteries, which are out of the ordinary because a lot of the burial sites are above ground. There are Belizean casinos. There are Belizean food markets. If you happen to miss something on the ship and you want to pick something up, uh, you can certainly do that there. They have supermarkets like Publix, but not the Florida Publix. This is spelled a little bit differently, as you can see from the picture. Uh, there's Dollar Saver, where they make your dollar stretch. I thought that was very cute. The buses in Belize for public transportation to get back and forth, if this is something that you want to do, they are old school buses from the 90s. So don't expect air conditioning. There are no bathrooms. Usually on buses, even on the excursions, there are no air conditioning and bathrooms. So take care of your stuff ahead of time and don't drink a lot. There's the Belize Zoo. It's a smaller zoo, but it's concentrated on rescuing animals, making sure that they get better. Um, you'll see jaguars, the toucan, which is the Belize national bird, uh, taper, other animals. Not bad, not a, not a bad thing to do if, if you just wanted to kill some time and not too far out of city proper. Bro. Around the port is the tourist village. So there are plenty of people who come off the tender, they stay right at the tourist village, do their shopping, the Diamonds International, everything that you guys are used to, right? And from what I've heard, 
People in the tourist village say don't go out outside of the tourist village. Belize is, is just ridden with crime. It's as bad as, as any of the cities in the United States. I don't know how true that is. You know, I would say use your, your head, common sense, be aware. But I've heard some stories that there was nothing that happened and everybody was very, very nice. There's also a statue of a person named Isaiah Mortar. He was the first person or belief of African descent who made his fortune in coconuts and bananas. And so he was very important as far as for being the first of belief to do that. His statue is on Albert Street near St. John's Cathedral. This is part two of a video. I couldn't put all of it into one video, so please check below for the first one in the series. Thanks. Please remember to help support this channel by subscribing, clicking the like button, and turning on notifications. Uh, that way you will be informed every time we post a new video. Thanks and have a wonderful day. God bless. Ain't no one got time for that. Bye.